Hey guys, it's Shannon, and welcome back to another American Girl video. I am really happy about this video, and the reason why is because it's going to be a Halloween video, and I absolutely love Halloween. It's my favorite time of year. You can see I have little Halloween monsters on my nails, and we have a special Halloween costume for Julie. There, and she's wearing part of the Our Generation Goldie Lux outfit. She's missing the jacket right now, but she has the rest of the outfit on, and I think that outfit is adorable. But today, Julie wants to get ready for Halloween. So we have this American Girl Truly Me. This is the Mod Monster costume. So let's open this up and take a look at what we get inside. All right, let's open this package up. I can't wait to see this. So the first thing we get is the little Frankenstein dress. It has these sheer sleeves, a little green printed ribbon around the waist, and a cute glittery spider in the corner. And there's the American Girl tag. We also get this amazing Frankenstein hair. She's like the bride of Frankenstein or something. Um, we get this hair, and you can see I have a little Frankensteins on my thumbs. And these really cute shoes. They're black, and they have green stitching on them. And then we also get a little Frankenstein trick-or-treat bag. This is a paper bag, so you're going to want to be careful with that. And some stitches definitely part of every Frankenstein costume. So let's go ahead and get Julie dressed in her new costume. dressed in her brand new mod monster costume and I think she looks amazing. I think she would win any costume contest that she entered. Let's just take an overview look at her. So there she is with that really really cool hat that makes it like her Frankenstein head or hair. That's awesome. And there is the rest of her. So, 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 so cute. All right, I'm gonna pull her a little closer so we can take a up close look. Ta-da, she's very up close now. All right, so first off, I'm just continually impressed with American Girl's quality. Um, it's, it's just awesome. <laughs> what else can you say? So this hat piece is really neat because um, it goes on really, really good, and you can, you know, not put it down as far as you want. You can kind of put it however you want. And it's kind of made of a felt material. Let's see if we can get Julie to stand if I quit messing with her. Um, anyway, so the hat is a really nice quality, and it goes on and off very easily, which I appreciate. And then let's take a look at her little stitch necklace. I just think that is a really nice touch to this outfit and again it goes on very easy. American Girl uses really nice clasps so it's easy for kids to put on and it stays secure. Then we have her dress which again is great quality. I love how this sheer fabric it's really delicate but it's 
you know, you don't feel like it's going to break or run or anything like that. It's just really nice and a pretty dress that you just know as long as you take care of it, it's going to last, which I really appreciate. And she has her little spider down there, of course. And then the shoes. Let's talk about the shoes for a minute. Here, I'll hold her up. So the shoes fit perfectly, and they are so cool. I'm really loving the shoes. I love the little laces on the front here. I had a little bit of a hard time getting one of the shoes on just because, um, number one, I'm not really that familiar. I haven't dressed that many American Girl dolls yet, so... Um, just don't have a lot of practice with that but the one she was a little bit bent in the package so it just seemed like it gave me a little bit harder time getting on her foot but the first one went on perfect and I didn't like really have to struggle or anything um, I can't believe that they have shoes like this that you don't tie or have to lace up and that they fit so well so I'm really loving those shoes I think it was a great addition to this outfit and then of course you have her little paper Frankenstein trick-or-treat bag. It says American Girl on the bottom. And you're just going to want to be careful with this because, of course, it is paper. So if you play with it a ton, you know, it can, um, it can break down. You know, it can get uh, messed up from play. So just be careful with that one. But what do you guys think of Julie in her new outfit? I would love to hear what you think of the Mod Monster costume. Leave me a comment down in the comment section letting me know your opinion on this outfit and give the video a big thumbs up if you love American Girl, Frankenstein, or Halloween. And also, you can leave a comment and let me know what you're going to be for Halloween if you are going to trick or treat or any costume contests. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to PS Toy Reviews if you haven't already. That way you don't miss any of our new videos. We'll see you next time. Hey everybody, it's Shopkin Shannon. And Palooza Paul. That's right, and we're here with a Shopkin Palooza. Yay, Palooza. <laughs> so, right here in the background we have a box of Season 3 Shopkins that we're going to be opening in a future video. But today, all of these blind bags right here came out of another 